That's all praises to the Heavenly Father through the name of the only begotten Son, who the world unknowingly and ignorantly calls God and Jesus. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible. And who rule well, Shalom to all you Akiyam and you Akwath, those that are hopeful elect that are seeking salvation. I want to bring out this article here going into the recent layoffs that are taking place and things are getting really bad in america babylon the great okay and eventually what we're witnessing is a collapse that's about to take place and so very soon these people are going to be losing their minds now when you read it's from this is from the washington post it says layoff spree in silicon valley spells end of an era for big tech a crypto collapse layoffs at facebook and a, and carnage at twitter are rocking the tech industry it's stoking memories of the dot-com crash 20 years ago over the past week silicon valley companies have laid off 20,000 employees a swift ramp up of the job cuts and hiring freezes that have been ricocheting through the tech industry for months. Twitter, Facebook, parent, uh, parent meta, payment platform Stripe, software service firm Salesforce, riding hail company Lyft, and a growing list of smaller companies all laid off double digit percentages of their workers. That means tens of thousands of engineers, salespeople and support staff in one of the country's most important and highest paying industries are out of a job remember these are if not close to an over six figure income earners all right just want to throw that out there so remember that it says meanwhile other companies including google and amazon have recently instated hiring slowdowns and freezes a new york times report monday said amazon is planning to lay off about 10,000 employees so i'm not going to read a whole article low will not post it in the description box but these are the times we're living in and as it mentioned cryptocurrency collapse you know so all these people that was bragging about making all this money off of cryptocurrency a uh, false currency you know with no backing something they just threw out there now people are looking stupid these are the times we're living in as when you read proverbs 11 and 28 it says he that trusteth in his riches shall fall all right and i'm gonna bring out in the same chapter scripture say riches profit not in the day of wrath and the lord is clearly clearly angry with this place all these people that trusted in their riches and really this word is for the, the um, Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans. A lot of our people, you know, uh, went to college and, you know, got some of these, um, th these jobs in these industries thinking that this was going to be the, the home run for them to make it. Not realizing that, you know, they, are, they were investing in a uh, sinking ship, okay, the Titanic. So you see these, uh, the riches are failing for the people that put their trust in this, this place, man. Matter of fact, let me bring out a quick scripture and I'm going to jump back. Because what we're seeing is a world being destroyed right before our eyes. A, a society uh, that's about to collapse and be destroyed completely. Okay? For good. First John 2 and 8 says, And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. So we see a, a world passing away. A wicked society ran by the Edomites, the so-called white people, is getting ready to be stripped. So the wrath of the Lord is being showcased. And those who put their trust in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai will abide forever. That's the elect praying that we're part of that number. So all these people with these, these jobs thinking they are the top, top upper echelon of the society, you know, which they were, you know, living in these nice apartment complexes living the, you know the good life a lot of them were in debt you know but for the most part they earned high wages now are losing their jobs okay so this is affecting everyone this this society that's collapsing is affecting everyone okay i'm gonna read that again 
Proverbs 11 and 28 says, he that trusteth in his riches shall fall. Yeah, because uh, riches can't save you. It says, but the righteous shall flourish as a branch because what righteousness delivered from death. And that's the mindset of the elect praying that we're part of that number. Now, I'm going to read. Matter of fact, let me get the Proverbs 11 and 28 in the NLT. Just curious to know how how it's worded. Yep. Pro the NLT version says, trust in your money and down you go. <laughs> trust in your money and down you go. But the godly, meaning the righteous, flourish like leaves in, in spring. OK. And what do leaves do in spring? They they spring forth. You know, they flourish. They grow. Proverbs 11 and Four says riches profit not in the day of wrath and these people are gonna learn that the hard way you know these people are gonna learn that the hard, hard way all these heathen nations that's in silicon valley and the ones of our people you know who are in that that world now we do have those some of those that may be in the truth who have uh that that type of skill but they're not putting their trust in this man's system trusting in their job and the the high wages that they're making they're putting their trust in yahweh bashim yahweh shai those are the hopeful elect because, you know, hopeful that can come from different walks of life. You know, you got some men who got their own businesses and have um, certain skills, you know, high paying skills and trades, you know, it, the variety of different um, skill set for hopeful elect members. But the key is the hopeful elect is being righteous and putting their trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's important to know. The scriptures say love not uh, uh, the love of money is the root of all evil. The love of money is the root of all evil. Okay, so Proverbs 11 and 4 says, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness deliver it from death. And what we're getting ready to see is a lot, a lot of death that's about to be showcased. We're in the last days of this wicked, mm -hmm. sinful kingdom. All right. And with that, you know, with that, uh, what, what does that mean? That means there's going to be a lot of plagues. There's going to be a lot of um, gruesome things that's going to happen in these times. And this is uh, the beginning of it. All right. Now, uh, I want to bring out something, a scripture I always bring out, but uh, it's fitting for these times. Second Ezra 8 and 50 says, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. So people losing their jobs are now going to have to find out how to make ends meet. And some of them are going to have to take uh, lower paying wages, you know. I uh, read an article about a man who, who was once a teacher um, started working at Walmart because being a teacher wasn't paying enough and Walmart was paying more. OK, but of course, it's more labor, you know, but you're going to have people who have their degrees and masters and doctorates, things of that nature. You're going to be seeing them, you know, doing whatever it takes to feed their family. All right. Some are going to resort to violence and we're going to bring that out as well, you know. If, if time permits, but going back to second Ezra eight and 50 says for many, meaning a multitude of great miseries, hardships, you know, uh, plagues, anxiety. It says shall be done to them that in the latter time, which we are in a latter time. So this is the time where we're going to see a lot of great miseries happen to those who are wicked, who are this world, who trust not in Yahweh Shai. It says shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. And a lot of these jobs promote pride. You know, they promote arrogancy. You know, these people, and I worked in the corporate world, these people on a whole nother level of arrogance. They think that they are, uh, they're the shit. But nevertheless, a lot of these people are prideful and the Lord hates pride. And he's going to show you how much he hates pride. The Lord is dealing with the, the meek and the humble, which is the hopeful elect. So we're going to see a lot of more uh, people get very desperate in these times and real riches are the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of your scriptures, you know, having that, that, uh, that knowledge and, and applying it. Second Ezra, um, 15 and 14 says, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Verse 15 for the sword and their destruction draw of nigh. So that's what's happening because we are in the end times. So you're going to see a lot more war and destruction take place it says and one people shall stand up and fight against another so it's going to be wars on all levels civil war class war race war there's going to be wars and riots against the government you got world war three okay taking place it says or it's getting ready to take place i should say 
It says, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands, weapons. And do you not think that people, some of these people that's going to have weapons in their hands were former engineers, you know, uh, doctors, lawyers. A lot of these people who are going to be fighting are going to be people also that, that uh, had these upper echelon jobs, you know, high wages. Okay. I mean, it's going to be, be people of all levels, man. You know, from the average bottom of society, working class, poor, middle class, they're going to be getting it in. It says, verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. Okay, they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So it's going to be a lot of inciting of war, you know, uh, to, to uh, rise up. There's going to be invasion, invasions of home invasions of one another, neighbors, you know, uh, neighborhoods taking over blocks, whatever, you know, to uh, control resources because people are going to be desperate and they're going to be moving in uh, gangs. Some people will be moving solo. OK, but they're ultimately their goal is to resort to carnality to survive. And that means if they have to delete the next person to do it. OK, verse 16 says. For this, uh, I already read that. Oh, yeah. Um, the any part of verse 16 says they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So not going to regard the leadership, you know, uh, in the society. You know, you're going to have leaders try to stand so-called leaders try to stand up and tell people to, to dial it back. OK, but people are not going to take heed to it. Verse 17 says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able a hey, martial law. Martial law is going to kick in as a result of these people, you know, going crazy. And the elites are planning for these things to happen. So they're going to set up something where unless you have that M.A.R.K., the C-Hip, you know, that uh, Karagma, Strong's G5480, that that uh, I got to be careful with my words. But, you know, what we've been preaching about Revelation 13 and 16, verse 17, you won't be able to go to to another city. OK, and a lot of these people are going to be see a lot of our people are going to be deceived into taking that, which is going to lead to their demise and their destruction. OK, but I'm about to finish off here. Verse 18 says this is the point. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. So what you're seeing is the Lord is issuing death, destruction, plagues of all sorts, taking away these people, financial resources you know, breaking them down to the last compound. OK, taking their their spirits, their souls, their mentality, OK, their pride. OK. They're full of themselves. The Lord is taking all that away. He's stripping them of it. He's making them bare. You know, because of their pride. It says for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. And so what you're seeing is a increase of troubling times. It says the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. So people's houses will be destroyed. Men are going to be afraid. Of course, the women and children will be as well. Because the times we're coming into is a time that's never been on earth since the earth was created. You, you can never compare these times to the times in history. Can't even you can't even measure it. OK. Last one says a man, verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Survival mode, right? Now, those that are hopeful elect is going to be spiritual about it. We're going to trust in Yahweh by Shem And the scripture says, we're going to eat. We're going to be fed. We're going to be protected. All right. We're going to have the things that we're going to need to survive while the world starves out. The Lord willing to be a part of that elect number. But reading on says, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. So the houses are going to be getting destroyed. Uh, goods are going to be robbed and taken from the neighbor. OK, it says because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, because what is going to be a famine, no food, no water. All right. These people are not going to have any answers, no job to go to, you know, it tells you that Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, you know, these stores are closing these corporate jobs are now laying off okay these people getting ready to catch hell on a whole nother level man that's why we always uh, uh, tell our people those who are tuning into these lessons coming out on the highways and byways and we ourselves are trying to take heed 
how important it is to seek the Lord. Because none of these things will save you. The only way we can be saved is through Yahweh Bashim Yabashai. Isaiah 55 and 6 says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Because the Lord is eventually going to close the doors of mercy and he's not going to be accessible. He's accessible through the men he sets up. The apostles, elders, you know, the men on down the other camps that are preaching 100% truth according to the Bible. So now is the time to get right. It says, Call ye upon him while he is near. You know, you got to know the names. You got to be living a righteous lifestyle, seeking the Lord and putting the Lord first. Scripture says, seek ye the kingdom first and all things shall be added. So everything is going to be uh, is going to play out in our favor as long as we seek the Lord first. Isaiah 33 and 6 says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. These jokers are going to be on a whole nother level of um, unstable, desperate, confused. You know, regretful, all these things because they don't have the wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Meanwhile, those of us, because we all going to lose our jobs. We all gonna, all of our businesses are going to shut down. Whatever we got going on, when this society collapse, everyone's going to be even playing field. There ain't going to be no, oh, I make 100000 a year. How much do you make? All right. And we're going to see who the real high value men are. Okay, it's going to be the men that have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that the Lord is going to be dealing with. So in these times, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures are very important to, to be sustained and to be firm. Okay, which, you know, that word stable goes back to faith. It says, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. And that's where it starts. Fearing the Lord. Fearing Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. OK, so again, another warning to the things that are going on, layoffs. OK, inflation is going up, gas prices going up. Everything is going to hell up. OK, and eventually there will be a crash. So, again, we're warning our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native Americans, the children of Israel, which includes the scattered Israelites who look like heathens, but go back to the seed of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. It's time to seek the Lord. Time is running out. All praises to Yahweh by Shem Abishai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.